Hello, my friends, and welcome back. Thank you very much for being with me again today. <clears throat> it used to be a joke that sounded like this. Hey, do you know when the, the end of the world will uh, come? And the answer was yes, when uh, Germany will uh, be peaceful and uh, uh, Israel will be Nazi or something like that. Well, I think we got uh, the first part already and we are on the way to achieving the second part of all that, all that jo joke. So first, Germany is not wanting to go to war, so it's all peaceful. And the second one, <laughs> it's occurring right now with Netanyahu and his new cabinet. And I'm not kidding. But hey, since we here in the States love uh, uh, diversity is our strength and inclusion and equity, we find out that actually Israel is the other way around. Uh, they don't like uh, diversity and they don't like inclusion. Uh, you're going to find out in a minute, actually in less than a minute. This article comes from uh, Sputnik and it is from today. Actually, it's from 42 minutes ago. 22nd of December 2022. Israel, this is the title. Israel extremist Ben Gvir says this only Orthodox Jewish converts should be allowed citizenship. <laughs> I think even uh, what's his name? Uh, Adolf would be embarrassed by this. He's like, oh, damn, these guys. So, a Jewish supremacist politician. Oh my God! Uh, Jewish supremacist politician known for seeking out confrontations with Palestinians and openly admiring an anti-Arab mass murder is now set to head Israel's newly formed Ministry of National Security and he's already trying to police which Jews will be allowed in and he's already already trying to police which Jewish will be allowed in. A controversial Israeli politician known for his uh, public support for anti-Arab terrorists and playing kingmaker for former Israeli Prime Minister Benjamin Netanyahu in recent weeks has sparked backlash over once again by demanding the incoming coalition government cease recognizing non-orthodox Jewish converts. <laughs> In a statement, Jewish supremacist Itamar Ben Gvir, Ozman Yehudit, quote unquote, party, so he's from the Ozman Yehudis party said they are seeking to require that only, I'm quoting, only a Jew who converted in accordance with Halacha or Halacha Jewish law would be eligible for Israeli citizenship under the law of return. So how about the, the Palestinians, the Arabs who live in uh, Israel, in the Jewish state? Can they uh, become citizens? I don't think so, because I know you have to become you are a Jew if you buy through your mom. Through not, it's not a, they say it's a religion. Yeah, why don't you read their Talmud and see how you become one. Under the so-called law of return, end quote, any conversion performed by an established Jewish community, be it reform, conservative or orthodox, meets the current criteria, criteria set out for Israeli citizenship. Did you hear that? But if Ben Greaves' party gets its way and its tremendous political leverage suggests it could, only the latter group would be eligible. Inclusion, huh? <laughs> Inclusion and diversity. I think this is the guy. Just look at him, how, how peaceful he is, actually. Oh, where are you? All right, yeah, oh, come on. No, no, yes, yeah. Mm, 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 mm. Maybe smaller. Anyway, uh, uh, this is the guy. <laughs> so, um, let's see what else is here. Um, as a condition of their support, parties in entering the coalition government said to be headed by Netanyahu have made a series of demands, including the creation of a Ministry of National Security, which would control Israel police force 
and beheaded by that guy. In 2015, Ben Gvir was recorded leading a ri race riot in occupied Hebron. Ooh. More recently, he was heavily criticized after brandishing a firearm while terrorizing Arab teenagers in the Palestinian. I don't think it was a pistol. I think it might have been something bigger. While terrorizing Arab teenagers in the Palestinian neighborhood of Sheikh Jarrah in Jerusalem, Ben Gvir doubled down, tweeting a photo of himself holding the gun and insisting, quote unquote, it cannot be that Arabs throw stones next to cops and the cops don't respond with fire, end quote. Wow. <laughs> Talk about uh, George Floyd shit. Look at this guy. Uh, the notorious ultra-right Israeli leader. Now he's ultra-right or he's, uh, what was that? He was called uh, something else. Uh, Jewish supremacist. Now he's ultra-right. How can you be ultra-right and be Jewish supremacist? <laughs> you can't be. Because supposedly the ultra-right don't like Jews, right? <laughs> um, oh my God. Uh, extreme uh, ultra-right. Israeli leader rose to prominence after speaking years as a youth leader within Israel Kahanist movement, named after Rabbi Meir Kahane, a notorious figure described as the founding father of Israeli fascism. <laughs> Ooh, we got it. I was right. They're on it. <laughs> ben Gvir controversial views even extended to an open admiration of Baruch Goldstein. You know who that is? I do. Uh, who murdered 29 worshippers at the Ibrahim Mosque in the occupied West Bank city of Hebron, 1994. The Israel politician's insistence of keeping a portrait of the notorious Israel mass murderer in his living room was just one of a series of polarizing actions which shocked Palestinians and alarmed more liberal Israelis who have fretted that such extreme behavior could jeopardize the future viability of the Zionist project. His Suggestion that only Orthodox Jews be allowed Israeli citizenship is merely the latest. As, as Israeli Diaspora Affairs Ministry Nachman Shai pointed out Sunday, I'm quoting, this demand, if granted, means a clear and sharp rift between us and the majority of the Jewish community in the United States of America. This is the largest Jewish community in the world after Israel. They have a great influence and are vital for Israel and for our ties with the USA. Wow, so the guy again, his name is, uh, he's a far-right, ultra-right Israeli, and the other one, uh, which I love the best, I think, Jewish supremacist. <laughs> That's how this guy was called. And his name is, I will try to pronounce as much, as the best I can, Ben Gvir. G-V-I-R, if you mind uh, looking him up. I will. Ben, Ben Gvir, how are you, man? Israeli extremist. Israel's ext extremist, Jewish supremacist, and then, oh my God, uh, Jesus Christ. What else we got there? Notorious ultra-right. And the last uh, uh, description was what? Something like, uh, I can't remember, but anyway. Uh, anyway, my friends, my friends. What do you think about this guy? Yeah, that's something about uh, um, being a supporter of uh, those guys, uh, fascists. Majority, pop, 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 pop. Uh, what do you think, my friends? What do you think? I, uh, I'm not surprised. I was waiting for this because uh, just by calling themselves the Jewish state uh, tells a lot. For uh, people uh, deluded or delusional, uh, that doesn't sound anything. Oh, so what? It's like you know, I never heard the Romanian state or the I don't know, French state, or rarely that's moved. It's 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 moved into that direction because that implies cohesion of a certain kind of one um, uh, group, and in this case, the Jewish Jews. Uh, anyway, uh, they want to make sure that, that remains. And I have nothing against it whatsoever whatsoever i think they're, they're, they should be they are entitled and i think that's all only, only right and correct for them to uh, demand to have their country the way they want to have it but hey what do you want um uh, ben gvir not good not good so fascism is starting is now <laughs> 
we uh, remember when they said that uh, um, that it can't be it can't be Nazi any Nazi movement or Azov battalion or anybody in the uh, Ukrainian government cannot be Nazis because the president, uh, the vice president, uh, the foreign minister, vice president, I think is is right. No vice president. Uh, they don't have vice president. Uh, the Prime Minister, Zhmihal, uh, he's Jewish. And then I come with Reznikov, the Defense Minister, he's Jewish. Yermak, the uh, Chief of Staff of the Presidential Office, Jewish. Oh, it can't be, as, as I always said. Because they're Jewish, they can't have uh, Nazism in, in their midst. That's what they said. It's like you say, well, there can't be any uh, racism in the United States, uh, racism like whites on black, because we had Obama as the President. <laughs> Okay, yeah, thank you very much. And now we have these guys here. They they say Putin is a Nazi. These guys know the, the Ukrainians are Nazis. And we have these guys with this guy. None none of the none of Putin. No Putin. No Zelensky. No Azov battalion. As far as I know, made statements. I mean, I know battalion uh, Azov battalion did before, but not lately. Anybody made such? Oh, remember it was what's her name? Uh, the Italian Prime Minister that uh, I just uh, fell out uh, with her, um, the last stupid thing that she said, and uh, I made a video on that, M Meloni, uh, what's her name, uh, Georgia, nah, uh -uh. again, she's a far right, she's a, a supporter of, what's his name, Mussolini and the fascist and all that, nobody spoke like this guy here, and this guy is going to be called, anyway, man. I expected what you, I mean I have so much to say uh, but if you really want to find out what's going on if you really want to find out what they really believe about themselves I suggest you read the Talmud but you can't reach the Talmud because you know probably you're not gonna find it in your language but read the Talmud and you're gonna have some enlightenment when you read the Talmud because that's the interpretation of the Torah the law you know the, the the interpretation by their rab rabbis and what they think about themselves, what they think about us. Yes, it's they and us, you know, the going, the, all that. And you're going to find out very revealing information how they really think of themselves. And as a community, as a different, uh, you'll find it. So anyway, good luck with that. It's very interesting, but it's, uh, it's, it's a, a few volumes. So good luck with that too. <laughs> I don't think you're going to find a translation because it's, uh, you're going to find out how they refer to Jesus in that, in the Talmud, how they refer to uh, uh, Virgin Mary and to, uh, what's his name, um, Joseph. And, it's, 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 and who was actually, what's her name, uh, Magdalena. They're going to tell you, they're going to tell you, and they're going to tell you exactly where Jesus is right now. He's somewhere boiling in something. But anyway, I'll let you find that out. Anyway, we're right there. Thank you very much for being with me again today. Maybe uh, Netanyahu keeps this guy like a Cerberus, you know, like Hades, keeps the dog with the, dog with the three heads, keeps him over there, just to unleash him on the world if he wants the same here. I think he keeps this guy as, you see that guy? Well, he's going to you up. So take it easy. I think that's what it is. But maybe not. Thank you very much for, me, for being with me again today. Stay strong, stay smart, look for the truth, and be just. Long live the Jewish state. <laughs>